Hi folks, it's Ivo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I am out here on the Lower Niagara River. It is the month of December and today folks we're looking for trout. There's rainbows out here this time of year, there's brown trout, there's lake trout, you never know what you're going to catch. And I'm going to try a couple of different things today. I'm going to run a T-turn bait rig here. As you can see I've got a small size T-turn there. I'm going down about a whole foot and a half to, uh, to a cattail sinker. Now you could use any sinker you want with this kind of rig, but with the cattail, with this little arm on the bottom, what that's gonna do is just walk along the bottom because there's a lot of rocks here as I'm drifting and it'll keep me out of snags. And today what I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run two baits. I'm gonna run a yarn fly on one rod. I got another rod rigged up here where I'm gonna try running uh, fresh row bags. I'm gonna try them both, but if you've never used yarn flies, they're also very, very effective. And as you can see off my T-turn, I've got about, oh, a foot, foot and change a line running to a yarn fly. Now with these yarn flies, you work them just like you would a row bag, uh, drop it down to the bottom, and all I'm gonna do now is just drift along the bottom here and bounce that yarn fly off the bottom. And if you've never used yarn flies, I like to use two different colors, either the hot pink or the orange. They come in a variety of colors, but those are the two that I'm uh, working with today and I've opened up with the pink. And they're very, very easy to do. To, to make your own yarn fly, you buy the yarn, it comes in bulk typically, and all you do is cut a little piece off, and the piece needs to be, I like it, about twice the size of the hook. And, uh, and then quite simply, where your hook is, you take the, uh, the knot that's on your hook and just slide it down the shaft a little, and then you poke the line through the eye to create like a loop. And then very simply, you just put the, um, put the yarn into the loop, and then tighten up, snug up on your line, and you've got yourself one yarn fly ready for action. So we're gonna drift along here along the bottom. I'm gonna switch up between yarn fly and row bags. We'll see which ones are gonna work, but hoping to get in some, some nice trout, so stay tuned, folks. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day today. The winds are down, it's cloudy, it's perfect condition, and the water looks absolutely phenomenal. Nice, quiet morning. Wish you were here to join me, but I'm glad you're joining me on camera, so stay tuned. Okay, well, I'll tell you, we took a few drifts and said, you know what, let's move up river a bit and just try it up river, closer to the mouth of the river. And my first drift, oh, first drift with the yarn fly. <laughs> then we hooked into a nice one. I gotta grab my net here. I don't know what I got. It's staying down there. It didn't come up, so chances are it's a lake trout. But usually the rainbows will come up. And usually the rainbows will hit the yarn fly, but you will catch a brown trout or you will catch a lake trout as well on, uh, on the yarn. I was just bouncing along that sinker, that cattail sinker is doing its job. Just walking along the bottom, I could feel it against the rocks. And the T-turn, of course, is doing its job, keeping my yarn fly free, allowing it to drift along in this current. Absolutely perfect. Okay, I think I've got them tuckered out. Oh, I got a glimpse of them there. Looks like a, looks like a lake trout, I think. Get a better look at him here. Oh, he's peeling a bit of drag. <laughs> oh, December fishing. If you've never tried the yarn flies, Give them a try, folks. They do work, and they work really well in the current. And the reason I cut that yarn fly twice the length of the hook is so that when, it, when it's uh, wet, it covers the whole hook. So I don't want any of that hook exposed if, uh, if I can avoid it. This guy doesn't want to come up. Oh, there it is. It looks like a lake trout. <laughs> So this is great fishing. The T-turn though is key, I tell you. You hear me talk about the T-turn all the time. And the T-turn I'm using today is just a small size. In fact, Thundermiss came out with a new extra small size, which I like to call the tiny T-turn. Oh my, this guy's really strong. But the small T-turn is all you need. There it is there, it's a lake trout. And yes, I got my little bass net with me. My favorite little bass net. There he is there. Oh, down he goes again. <laughs> these, these lakers are strong fish. If I get them up, there he is there. It's a nice sized laker too. Beautiful fish. 
Oh my, okay. <laughs> He's just not tuckered out. What a riot. Fishing for trout is a lot of fun. And to be out here during December, the water temperature, in case you're wondering, 46 and a half degrees. Okay, let's see if I can get him in my little, my little bass net does the job again, folks. There we go. One nice lake trout. You can see my, my little pink yarn fly there. Let me just pop that out. It's just hooked in the side of his mouth, just perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Let's get that out. There we go. No worse for wear. My cat tail out. Okay, let's get this lake trout. There we go, folks. How's that for a start to my day? There's a nice lake trout right there. Okay, I gotta snap a quick photo and we're gonna get him right back in. That was a nice photo for our Instagram and our Facebook friends. Now it's time to get this lake trout back in the water. Okay, goodbye Mr. Lake Trout. Well, that was a riot and a great start to my day. I'm gonna keep drifting around here using the yarn fly. And if you have it, folks, like I say, give yarn flies a try. They work great. It's another option for trout fishing. If you don't have row bags, they work really, really well. I wanna thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunder Fishing Tips. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe because we've got a lot more fish catching action coming your way. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. I'm getting back in there again. Off, I have no idea how big this fish is. And it was a good bite too. You're on too, Antonio. We got a double header going, folks. <laughs>